Hello everybody, I hope you are all doing very well, thoroughly enjoyed the Bitcoin run yesterday and now we're looking forward to this Bitcoin technical analysis, uh, honestly extremely happy, Lo love that move, I mean wow, I mean honestly wow, what a, an extreme move we saw to the upside, like smashing through 10k and running up straight to 11.2k, I mean that is a move and a half, that really is, um, and you know you just had to really really enjoy that yesterday, that was just crazy, um, but yeah. Let's talk over some important levels, the impact pattern that we're seeing right here on the charts and uh, yeah, how you could look at this going forward. So um, yeah, hope you enjoy this video and yeah, let's begin. So I mean, oh, the people that like to short Bitcoin at the moment uh, are just getting wrecked after wrecked after wrecked. I mean, we, obviously... Uh, when you're in a, when you're in this daily uptrend, look at the uptrend. Look at that uptrend. It's like, do you want to be running in front of this? This is a steam train to the upside. And um, what I mean by this is, this is not saying do not short, but I'm saying you want to wait for confirmation. Okay, rather than running in front of a running steam train, why not wait for it to slow down? Uh, you know, before you open some shorts, um, because you know. Why, why am I saying this? Because everybody that wanted a short 10k, zero confirmation, okay? You're coming up into 10k, you're coming up into that level, high or low, 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 clear level of resistance, consolidation under resistance, bam, bam, it's gone. We run from 10k all the way up to 11.2k in the matter of like half a day. I mean, that is a crazy run and just goes to show you, you need to wait for confirmation of breakdowns. Why are you trying to short these levels? It literally makes no sense at all. Yeah, as you will know from my live stream, I say these these are take profit levels only, not levels to be shorting at. You need to wait for confirmation. Okay, really, really, really important. Um, so yeah, with that said, uh, what do we see going on here now? Obviously, we topped out yesterday around the high there was exactly eleven thousand two hundred and thirty-one. This is over on Bitmex, okay. And then you can see the following two hours that big pullback that came, okay. But guess what? We bumped right off the monthly level. And as you know, these were the important levels that I highlighted for you all. While we were saying at ten, you know, ten point seven. Look at that level that I highlighted. That monthly level, ten thousand three hundred and nineteen. Have a guess where we bounced off of 10,000 the low here was uh 10,300 exactly so okay so within that $20 that was that was our monthly level basically so that was our monthly le level that was broken then back tested as support but it's giving us this somewhat of a descending triangle here okay so this is the pattern basically that i'm trading on the short term okay I, um well so more so i'm trading altcoins at the moment while bitcoin kind of, kind of consolidates because this is what we're looking at here like the situation that when bitcoin is moving up so volatile altcoins get absolutely destroyed okay they really really do especially if it's, it's to the upside recently you know when bitcoin is highly volatile this period you know you're seeing altcoins down five ten percent okay but when bitcoin starts to consolidate here okay moves into this like, kind of descending consolidation pattern okay could be continuation you know uh but um once we once we're moving more sideways then altcoins obviously then have their time to shine and to run and they actually started to pick up as soon as there was this drop that was bought up and then you obviously get the drop that was bought up and then hedge sideways and uh yeah that's where like the altcoins have done really well obviously neo uh really good komodo was really good icon actually had a nice bounce walton chain had a nice bounce uh those were the main ones for me anyway uh, POA, POA actually had a nice one. But uh, yeah, just there was like a few select altcoins which bounced really, really nicely. Um, obviously, like running into little bits of resistance now, you, you bounce up 20%. V chain. Oh, yeah. V, how did I forget V chain? Um, you know, somebody's getting like 20% bounces. Um, yeah, you're obviously going to start to pull back. Um, but yeah, no, it is just nice to see. Um, so yeah, I, I'm mainly concentrating still on altcoins until this pattern breaks, okay? And obviously, we're either going to get a break from this, okay, to the up or downside, and then that get, brings the volatility back where alts will pull back to a certain extent as well. So, um, you know, you want to now just really be keeping an eye on, uh, you know, are we going to break out of this with an increase in volume or are we actually going to break down with an increase in bear volume, okay? So that's like a really important metric to be looking at here. There are no divergences going on here, okay? Like really, really small, nothing. Um, this is on the one hour chart. So, um, you know, it's nice that yesterday actually we like continued up with like high, high positive uh, momentum. Like the momentum was really positive. Obviously on the second peak, you do get then slight bearish divergences, but it's like, in an uptrend, these bearish divergences, uh, you know, you, you you can actually keep going up with bearish divergences. It's not a, it's not a short signal. Um, 
obviously there on this second peak you did get that pullback but then bought up you know really quickly um you know so really on the short term we're looking at that key support still 10,300 then you know you do have that weekly support down at 9,600 should this pattern break down which would give you a nice measured move of this area so downside targets obviously you're looking for that pullback really between uh 9, 8, 9, 6, lower you know you're looking at 92 there Okay, and to the upside, you're looking at 11,500, 11, let's just say. Uh, and obviously, you're, you're looking then if you manage to get through that, which is short term, it does seem like um, <laughs> would be a bit of a challenge to continue. I mean, the markets can stay irrational, of course, but um, you know, it does seem like a, a consolidation pullback before we <laughs> move up again would be the most likely scenario. But, uh, you know, just nevertheless, we're looking uh, up, you know, I'm, I'm not going to complain if it happens, but we're looking up at 13,000, say 14, you know, 13,873, 14. K uh, massive resistance level okay but obviously we want to like take it one step at a time um you know i've been asked so many questions um <laughs> about some of these patterns that are playing out is our news lows coming unreal amount of questions basically um, and I am going to like address all of those questions in due course, but I'm taking this one step at a step at a time at this, at this moment in time, just trading this pattern, trading the altcoins. Um, yeah <laughs> so this was like quite a cool one yesterday where we hit 11k i was like take profits and enjoy the night okay take profits and enjoy that night and that was like an unreal really really amazing time like this is the thing you have made so much money and so much profits over the last week then you know you know you just have to take some of that money off the table and enjoy it and this is why you get these pullbacks people take profits okay this is not necessarily big shorts opening but it's people taking profits okay and like you need to do it. If if you if you stay there, imagine 2017. Let me just explain. Let's imagine 2017. You know, so many people made so much money in this 2017 bull run. Okay, only to lose it all, and sometimes even more. Like the amount of people that I've had to help in that situation, they made so much money and then lost it all. And it's just like while you're sitting there looking at a portfolio plus however much money while it's just sat there and you've not realized that profit it's nothing it really isn't you have to realize the profits and you have to pay yourself um because otherwise yeah it literally could you know get all those monetary gains and then literally lose it all plus more so um it's just like a, a scenario where you know I'm, I'm a big believer of, of locking in profits basically I'm, I've always sort of said you know um you never lost money by by taking profits okay and this is like you know we hit 11k <laughs> hit 11k <laughs> take some profits and enjoy that night that was a good time to celebrate good good time to celebrate and uh yeah just just really nice uh obviously with <laughs> i wasn't saying that we were going to pull back but it's like yeah you hit 11k this is pretty overextended just just enjoy the night take some profits there um and uh yeah obviously i've got my live stream tonight for the champions where i will to be like sharing my foot sh no, 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 sharing my thoughts first which is obviously tonight at a 6 30 you know um so i'll see my champions over in that stream tonight which is going to be fun and it's going to be a really really good one uh that not going to lie that is going to be good um but you know short term for the duration of this video these are the most important levels you're looking at this is the pattern that you've got going on here um this is obviously the 55 ema so um yeah overall really really nice uh, i will end showing you those few altcoins so obviously we had komodo with the back test moving up uh v chain just for you know extreme oversold that's a 20 percent bounce um what else what did i say uh so much obviously neo like neo was insane uh but yeah there were like other ones in here that were like really nice um yeah like to be honest so much <laughs> but um yeah i just want to mainly like concentrate on on bitcoin and just a select amount of alts so everything on this watch list is not what i'm trading at the moment but you know some have had really nice moves um and i feel like they will continue to have nice moves when bitcoin volatility dies down it really needs to die down first before we're going to see like big big bigger moves okay um, so yeah, that's how I'm trading it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this bull run. It's just been crazy. Um, and final message, just, 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 you know, you never lost money taking profits, basically. So, um, you know, protect your, protect those profits. Um, and let's, let's see whether this ends up being a continuation and we get a run up again. Otherwise, we've got our key supports here, okay? So uh, if you have enjoyed, please give me a like but a like, and uh, make sure you tick the bell uh, below this video for the uh, notifications on so you do not miss a future video. Uh, give me a like if, if you would like. Uh, if not, then give me a thumbs down. <laughs> Let me know whether you enjoy or dislike this content. Uh, that's your decision totally. 
And, uh, you know, I would be interested to know, what are you looking at? Okay, let, let, let's say, let, drop a comment down below. I will read the comments. Uh, I don't always respond, but I do read them all. Um, let me know whether you are looking down for lower levels here. Do you think this run up? Okay, obviously, the, the, the argument is this has gone up too quickly, too fast, and we need to get a heavy pullback. So are you under this, you know, are you under the viewpoint that this is going to be pulling back heavily now? OK, or are you under the viewpoint that this is a continuation to run up again? OK, double top moving up onwards. OK, let me know how you feel. Let me know what you think your ideas are and uh, very interested to see. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in the next video. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Have a brilliant day. Cheers.